there could be a number of reasons why your Gmail account is not receiving emails. Each email you receive takes up a bit of space. If your Google account runs low on its storage, you won't be able to receive new emails. It is possible that you have the wrong Gmail settings or a rather slow internet connection. Let's swiftly go through some Gmail-specific points that are likely to fix your Gmail problems. 1. Check the Gmail servers at Google. Google's servers may be down due to maintenance or unplanned issues, but it is very rare. You should check Google's workspace status, link in description. Check to see if Gmail was down in the past. If Google's servers are unavailable temporarily, your email might not have been received correctly. In such instances, we recommend asking your sender to resend the email to you. 2. Send yourself an email. It is also easy to verify there is a problem by sending an email to yourself. In fact, send two emails to yourself. One using your Gmail email account, one using Yahoo or Hotmail. You may be experiencing email problems if you only receive emails from Yahoo or Hotmail. 3. Check spam folders. Make sure to check your spam folders. Google filters spam emails automatically, so you might not get the email you expect. When you open Gmail, it's in the left-hand corner of your screen. Also your antivirus may have an email filtering function, you should check that too. 4. Check trash. It is also a good idea to check your trash. It is possible that you have misclicked or deleted an email you did not intend to delete. This is a common issue for antivirus software, which deletes email it considers viruses. 5. Check all mail. You will find the all mail option on your left hand side. This tab displays all your email information. If you can't find the email in the trash, spam, or basic mailbox, the all mail tab might have it. You can also store archival emails here. Simply swipe left or right to archive an email. 6. Use another browser. Try a different browser if you have not found your email yet. Gmail is only compatible with three browsers. However, you should be able to open it on any one of them. Google Chrome, Firefox or Safari are all options for opening Gmail. These browsers must have JavaScript and cookies enabled. You can also open your Gmail from your phone's browser if you're using the Gmail app. Gmail can sometimes have problems with syncing and receiving email in real time. 7. Update Gmail app. Always ensure that your apps are current, or better set up to date. You can update your Gmail app via the App Store and Google's Play Store. A broken Gmail app could cause syncing problems and other issues that can lead to the loss of some of your email. 8. Open mail on a PC. Of course Gmail is also available on computers and laptops and that is an excellent way to check in case there are issues. Your browsers on your computer are always current, unlike your phone's app. This makes it more reliable, especially when you have connectivity issues or network problems. 9. Is your Gmail storage full? Unlimited storage is not available for free at Gmail. And you will be unable to receive messages from Gmail if you exceed the storage limit. Check the storage space within your Google Drive. Your storage space will be displayed on the right side of your screen, minimum 15 GB for users who are free. Clear out your storage space by deleting files from Google Drive or emails from your trash. Your emails are not automatically deleted by Gmail if you put them in the trash. Google will keep it for you for 30 calendar days before they delete it. It takes up space and will be in the trash forever. To learn how to recover all deleted emails from Gmail, follow the link in the description. 10. Logging out and back in. Logging out and back into your Gmail account can help you troubleshoot the issue. Forcefully sync your Gmail to Google servers will solve the problem. This will show you any missing emails. If not, go on to the next solution. 11. Gmail filter settings. Filtering your emails is essential, especially when spam email starts coming in from bots and advertisers. It is possible that the email you are expecting to receive has been filtered. Gmail's mobile app settings for Gmail are limited. It is better to use your computer. If you don't own a computer, you can open Gmail using your smartphone's browser app. Check the box to show desktop edition in your browser app. You can access this information from your computer. To access your settings, open your Gmail account. Click on the gear icon in the upper right corner. Then click on the See All Settings button. 
Then click on Filters and Blocked Addresses. Then check the email addresses you have created filters or blocked. You can unblock or remove filters from the email address that you wish to receive emails. We recommend asking your sender to resend the emails. Fail should be delivered to your Gmail account without any problems now. 12. Try disabling antivirus on PC. This is only for those who use IMAP on a Windows desktop client, PC slash laptop. Antivirus programs often have an email filtering function. Your antivirus will filter out any emails it believes are malicious or potentially dangerous. This feature can be disabled from your antivirus program. You can either refresh Gmail or ask the sender to resend it. You can also stop your antivirus program running on startup by using the task manager. To open the task manager, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Look for your antivirus software by going to startups. To stop your antivirus program from starting on startup, right-click it and choose Disable. Try restarting your computer to see if it fixes your email problem. Ask the sender to resend your email. Once you have resolved your issue, make sure to turn on your antivirus. It can be restarted by following the same steps, but clicking on Enable. 13. Ask Google. If the problem persists, please contact Google Help. See link in the description. The correct URL to Google Help is the one that I just provided. Avoid searching Google for Google Helpline or similar terms to avoid landing on scammer websites that offer fake help in India.